When we talk about troponin I, it's important to understand that there's a wide range of normal accepted values from institutions to different texts. So it's really important that you check with your facility and your institutional norms to determine what is the normal value where you work. Um, but troponin I is an important lab to understand. If you work med surge, if you work cardiac floor, if you work ED, if you work ICU, you're going to see troponin run very often. The normal value we're going to talk about here is less than 0.035 nanograms per milliliter. And troponin is really important in understanding uh, myocardial damage. So the reason we run it is to evaluate damage to the heart muscle and diagnose myocardial infarction. So troponins are proteins that initiate contraction of muscle fibers. Okay, so they're used in cardiac muscle. And we have troponins in different places in the body, but troponin I is specific to heart muscle. Okay, so troponins are proteins and they, they help with contraction of these fibers. But troponin I is very specific just to, to cardiac muscle. And what happens is when there is cardiac damage, myocardial damage, troponins are going to be released into the into the bloodstream. So when we have that cardiac damage, troponin I is going to be released into the bloodstream. So where we normally wouldn't see it elevated, even though it's doing its job and it's it's working in the body, whenever there's a myocardial damage, troponin I is going to be released into the bloodstream. We're going to see that level spike. Okay, so reasons we're going to see an increase are going to be heart damage, myocardial infarction. Um, and it's important to understand that when we talk about our cardiac injury profile, that's really talking about running several labs. We run our myoglobin, our CKMB, troponin, LDH. And what troponin does and, and why it's so important in this um, cardiac injury profile is that it is, is very specific to just the heart muscle. So while it takes about four to six hours for a troponin I to elevate after cardi- myocardial damage, it's specific to the heart muscle. So even though our myoglobin raises earlier, we really look more at the troponin because of that specificity. So the rise, troponin I is going to elevate within about four to six hours. It's going to peak at about 18 hours, and then it's going to return to normal after one to two weeks. So you're going to see that that quick rise from the 0.3035. You're going to see that rise. You're going to see a peak in about 18 hours, and then slowly it's going to taper off and start to return to normal in about two weeks. And that's why we're going to run this as a serial lab. We're going to look at troponin often uh, with our patient to see where we're at in the evolution of this myocardial damage. All right, that is troponin I. If you have any questions, just let us know.